Having online booking set up for your business is one of the most critical components of your business. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set that up with Housecall Pro. Now, there's a lot to cover, and this online booking feature is really powerful. You can set it up so that customers can book 24 seven with you. you, can schedule jobs right from booking, so your calendar fills up automatically. You can even take deposits. You can even get marketing insights, tracking which sources brought in customers. So today, we're gonna, I'm gonna walk you through this, set it up, show you all the, the various settings and how to get this going for your business so you can start growing and looking more professional. All right, so we are logged into the Housecall Pro dashboard. Now where online booking lives is under the marketing tab. And this marketing tab kind of houses all the customer facing lead acquisition type features within Housecall Pro, online booking being one of them. So we click this and we'll walk through setting this up now. All right, so first we're presented with a list of services uh, that Housecall Pro, based on your industry, uh, prepares for you. So for sake of example, we'll add some of these in. So custom job, we'll just change this to an estimate and we'll say air conditioner service call, we'll say 150, couple hours, click next. First off, we have our booking preferences. We have flexible scheduling. Now with this, you can set like arrival windows as well. So you arrive between 10 and 12 and you can have that for your entire day, just uh, arrival window slots that customers can choose, again, in 30 minute increments. Then we have set a specific time. So you, again, you have kind of 8 a.m. sharp, uh, 3 p.m. sharp, defined times throughout the day, or you can have manual. And what manual does is it hides the time selection from customers so that uh, once they submit the online booking form, the submission shows up in your account as either a job or estimate. For me as a handyman, I, my schedule changes all the time. So what I like to do is I like to have customers or leads submit the request first and then I make an assessment on the job um, and then look at my schedule and then try to fit them in from there and then I'll contact them. But for this example, we'll go back and choose flexible scheduling. All right, scrolling down to scheduling type, we have auto scheduling and manual. So this basically auto scheduling checks the technician's availability on their calendar and assigns the job automatically. So this is great because, you know, it just does everything for you automatically. And then the next day, boom, you look at your schedule, you have jobs booked or estimates booked. Um, now, if you have multiple technicians, you can assign specific technicians to specific jobs um, that you provide on the booking form. And then it'll search those specific technicians, their availability, and then assign times based on that. But if you prefer for the point of contact person in your business, if, if you're a one person business like I am, that's me, that person will manually look at the bookings and assign technicians to that specific job. Next we have our booking hours. So this is pretty straightforward. Just edit which days you're available and the times that you're available. And you can add multiple time slots. So for instance, if you always take lunch off, say 12 to one, you can add availability around that break. Then we have our arrival windows. And I'm a big proponent of arrival windows. It's just, there's so many variables when you're out in the field, you might have to go pick up material or an unexpected thing happens, maybe you get called back from a job that you just left. So I think a two hour arrival window is like a sweet spot. Next we have our earliest availability. With this you can control how far out in advance your customers can book. So you can set you know, two days, three days, um, up to three weeks out, which is great. So if you're like really busy, uh, you can adjust this manually. Um, or if you kind of have a lull, you can do maybe the same day or one day in advance. Um, so that's good, we'll click next. All right, so the next section is to set up the payments within our online booking. Um, so we can require full payments, we can require deposits. If you have certain larger projects that require deposits, you can set a percentage or a fixed price, or you can choose to not have payments set up at all. But payments, having that integrated into an online booking form is great. Um, you know, this just reduces no shows and it improves your cash flow as well. So now we get to preview what our booking form looks like. And here you have uh, the services that we outlined. So we'll click into one. 
they can add multiple of the same services if they require multiples. Um, we'll add this to the booking. Customers have the option to write a short description, any appointment details that they need, as well as to upload photos, which is huge. So we'll go ahead and book the service. And then at this point, the customer will enter their contact information, address, and this is nice to have that House Call Pro automatically integrates some copy into the form, letting them know that you know, this box they need to check to be able to consent to receive marketing and promotional texts from your company. Um, so that way, at the time of booking, you get consent right away, and then you can set up House Call Pro campaigns later on to send SMS and email marketing messages. All right, now in preview mode, I'm gonna enter an example contact and we can continue in the flow. And you can do this yourself just to test things out as well. All right, so next what the customer will see is uh, to pick an arrival window that we have set. And we see our two hour arrival window down here with various times throughout the day. Um, and then our availability here, obviously the weekends are off, next week is free. So it just shows what we set up. So we'll do Friday, do 9 to 11. And now it gives us a summary, a booking confirmation um, before we submit. So next we have our payment section, and this is what it looks like. And we have our 10% deposit that we set up, and the customers have the option to save their card on file for future services. This is great, you know, they pay the deposit, you'd instantly increase your cash flow, and then uh, the job will be added to your schedule. All right, so we'll go ahead now and finish our setup. All right, next you're ready to share the booking page. So you can add it as a button to your website. That's what I recommend. I um, have a button at the top of my homepage. So is, as soon as a customer visits my website, they can see that uh, booking page and get right to it. You can share your booking page, uh, other directories online, or if you have a social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, you can share it there as well. Click close. So now once we finish the online booking setup, we automatically get taken to the settings for online booking. So if you need to access it, you go up here to this gear icon and then scroll down. And this is where all of your online booking settings live. These are all the services that you define that are on the online booking form that clients can select. And now these are all managed in your price book. So if you wanted to change the price, the duration, you'd have to go to your price book to do that. Now if we click this pencil icon, just to show you, this is, you, you can add a new service directly from the setting, and then you toggle this section here, show this in online booking for it to populate in those available services. Next we have available pricing forms, and again, these live in your price book, and with pricing forms, you have the ability to offer dynamic pricing. So if you set up specific forms for specific services, you present those forms on the online booking. Customers can enter their specific details for their project, and based on those answers, the, the form uh, will dynamically price uh, their specific job. And those dynamic prices, again, you set in your price book, uh, but you give uh, the option for customizability for the customer to tailor the pricing to their project. And we'll take a look what that looks like. And so just to quickly show you, this is what a pricing form looks like. So you'd have the name, the description. You can toggle this to automatically add it to new jobs and estimates. You can make it taxable, add an image. And then this is where you toggle it to show in your online booking. You can set the duration. And then this is where, by adding these fields, this is where the client can get a customized price based upon their specific job requirements. So you can set a quantity, set a numerical range, for instance, like the size of their home. You can add a multi-select or a single select. And you know they would walk through and select these various options for their specific project, and then it would calculate the price for them. Next, we have our booking settings. These are all the settings that we initially filled out when just setting this up and you can change these as you like. Booking preferences, scheduling type, your hours, arrival window, and earliest availability. And also what's great too is that the system will check for duplicates. So uh, if you have a repeat customer who fills out your form again, uh, the system will check their email, first name, last name, and phone number uh, to make sure that it doesn't create a duplicate client profile.
Next, we have a list of all of our employees and we can toggle off or on um, their availability for uh, booking. And then it also lists your point of contact. So if you have an office staff member who handles the internal job dispatching um, and then you chose that manual internal dispatching feature uh, in the booking setup, then they would take a look at all of the submissions and assign jobs to uh, technicians versus the auto scheduling feature, which does it automatically based on the tech's availability. Payment options, here you can either hide or show prices for your services, and then you can uh, adjust your payments and deposits here. Another great setting for online booking is the ability to set uh, your zip codes. So if you set specific zip codes and then a lead fills out the online booking form, and their zip code is outside of the zip codes that you set, then they won't be able to book. And I think this is just great control to have so that you make sure that you're working in only the area that you defined. Here's the preview again, so any changes you make will be reflected real in real time on this preview. And then you can also do a full screen preview just to make sure that what the customer sees is what you want. Next, we have all the links to our booking page. So you can add this uh, code to your website and then you can share the page wherever you'd like. And then these two features are really great to have tracking attribute and booking redirect. So with the tracking attribute, you can add uh, a specific attribute to the link and then copy this link and paste it where you'd like. So say, for example, if you're running an email campaign, you can create an attribute and then anytime a lead books with you uh, from that link, you can see that it came from the email campaign. And then that email campaign is typically added as a job tag. Um, so just a great way uh, to track tags and see where bookings came from. And then with the booking redirect, you can redirect customers after they submit the online booking to like a custom thank you page or somewhere else in your kind of customer journey. You can send them to another uh, promotional page or another page on your website. So it basically adds more customizability to your online booking form. Now the last online booking setting that we have is to connect your booking with Google Business Profile through Reserve with Google. So that way clients can book uh, directly with you through Google uh, on Maps and Search. The blue booking button will show on your Google Business Profile. And so whenever a customer is searching like Handyman Near Me, your profile shows up they can instantly book with you and are taken to your uh, online booking form. Now, so just to mention again, these are obviously all of the settings for your online bookings to adjust uh, the form as you need, but then the actual submissions are under the marketing tab in House Call Pro. So we go to the marketing center, we go to online booking, and then this is where you'd see all of the submissions, the jobs and estimates. Um, you'd see the client name, so that you can quickly get back to them and get the ball rolling. So I hope you can see how powerful this online booking form is for your business and growing your business. I mean, you just set this up once and you just set it and forget it. You share it on all your socials and on your website. And then, you know, when you're not working, you have this thing automatically integrated in your system so clients can book automatically. It's just convenient for your customers. It's convenient for you. It creates better customer engagement and grows your business on autopilot. So if you're interested in signing up for House Call Pro, I have a free trial down in the description for you to check it out, see if it works for you. Also comment down below, let me know what feature of House Call Pro that you really utilize and helps grow your business. I'd love to know. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.